Okay. Which one? Let's see here. If I pick the wrong one, is this too small? Oh, one right there. That one? Yeah. Money. Uh, all Actually, I'll take all three of them. <laughs> okay, nice. <laughs> all right, dude, when's the last time you think we went fishing? Last time you and I fished together? Because I don't know. Uh, three Oaks, Father's Day yeah. Three Oaks, uh, two yeah. years ago. 2015, that was the last time you and I fished. Two years ago. Two years ago. That was the last time I fished Over with this guy. Over two years ago. And this is the guy that got me into fishing, which makes yeah. absolutely no sense. I'm working too hard. <laughs> so here we are, we're on Lakeside. It's a little vacation within a vacation. I was just in Cape Cod. It was an insane experience. Didn't do a lot of fishing, but did catch a nice four pound bass. So I'm gonna count that one as a success, nice check mark. But uh, it's day one here. I just landed in Cleveland this morning. There should be some decent uh, largemouth. Last time I was here, we caught a ton of largemouth. Lake Erie's known for smallmouth. I've never caught one off this pier, but we're gonna give it a go. This whole week, I'm gonna try to fish every single day on Lake Erie. And for those of you guys that don't know, Lake Erie's huge. It's one of the many Great Lakes, or one of the five. Who's counting? I think it's five. <laughs> I've got two sticks, one top water, one jig. He's got his crank and set up. his favorite rod out. I'm looking forward to it. A little favorite summit. But we're going to head to this spot and hopefully catch some fish. We've only got two hours to go, so why not, you know? Here we go. I'm on. They're here. Just a little, little largemouth. It's so weird how this part of Erie, like Erie's so known for smallmouth, small mouth, but like largemouth. It's like all you catch on this really pier. Dark. Official first fish for the Lake Erie trip. Going back over the pier. See you, bud. He gone. First fish of the day came on DP jig. Throwing this on a seven foot phantom by favorite. The reel's just a 7.11. Get ready to show that fish just came right along. Right about there, actually, right along this pier. The pier's like super, super busy right now. It's kind of hoping to be a little bit quieter than it is, but hopefully once the sun drops, I'll be able to fish a little bit longer. Damn, that was sick. That feels good. First Ohio fish of the month. <laughs> I almost said of the year. That's not true. Snag. You almost got him. Right oh. How's it going, man? It's going good. What's your name? Caleb. Caleb, nice to meet you, dude. Fishing for some walleye? Uh, walleye caught six over two days ago. Off this, the pier. off this pier? Off this pier? Are you mainly fishing for walleye or bass? Or? I've gone for bass usually. I haven't caught smallmouth out here yet. I've never caught smallmouth out here, which is, yeah. So just met a, a viewer, and he was all set up with a tipsy diver, which is, I think that's what it was called, which is like something you use for, you know, offshore walleye fishing. He comes out here at night, and I'm assuming he trolls for walleye off the pier. He's caught like 11 of them at night, which is crazy. It's cool to see other dudes out here catching them and putting them on the on the pier and uh, he said it just bites just good right now so that is absolutely like music to my ears <laughs> oh god <laughs> i was reeling on my spook and some girl said i've never seen a bobber look like that before uh yeah you probably haven't it's because it's not a bobber so many people ask you like what are you catching what are you what are you using how are you catching them do you put them back do you put them in the fridge what seasoning do you use when you catch the <laughs> Come on, come on. Oh, like gone. I was reeling my jig, I'm like, I don't feel anything, I don't feel anything. I'm like, oh, that's a fish. A little eerie bass, man. But Nothing the, like it. About the same size as the last one? Or? Yeah, I would say it's about the same size. Might even be his twin brother, honestly. Jig again. They love the jig. Number two, back in the water. Eerie bass, number two down. Cool. Yeah, all right, your turn. I hope so. Then what a what? You wanna see me cast? Yeah, John Lennon. What's with the glasses? Oh, do you like him? Yeah, they're great. Reformed pair of small eye spiders. All right, Ready? let her rip, yeah. Okay. Solid. Yeah. Whole family's here. We got grandfather Art, grandmother Julie, mom and pa. We're just chilling on the dock. It's kind of kind of a family scene right now on the dock. There's a lot of families out here. It's, it's bustling, a little bit busier than I anticipated, I guess. Oh, my clippers. Two fish, though. We're gonna keep fishing. We still have about another hour or so of daylight. Two good fish, though, so far. It's always nice. Come on, Jig. Put another fish in my boat, please. In my metaphorical boat. Oh, 
There we go. There we go. Oh, nice. Over there, there's like a, there's like a little piece of grass. There's a bunch of bunch of minnows that were getting stuck on the grass. Oh, so the fish are going. You wouldn't see the fish eat, but you'd see the mat like move, and the minnows would disappear. Cool sauce. This pier is popping right now. I was like, I'll go at sunset. It won't be that busy. I keep forgetting it's it's summertime too. Slow. Yeah, it's I just, it's funny. I think it's cool. I caught a few. Yeah. Where were they? Where were they? Or what were they? Uh, largemouth bass. Yeah. Did you? <laughs> hey, sorry to bother you again. Yeah, what's up, man? Um, my friend and I are like really huge fans. Yeah. Yeah. And I have him on FaceTime right here. Oh, nice. What's his name? His name's Matthew too. Matthew, what's up, dude? See you, bro. Take care. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, thanks, man. All right, what time is it? It's about 9.30. No, 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 what time is it? It's smoothie time. <laughs> it's, what time is it? <laughs> Catching dinky largemouth on Erie. Builds up an appetite, That's so we're right. gonna go grab some smoothies. I don't think I've met so many people before in my entire life just fishing off a public pier. That was crazy, all really nice and genuine people. But it just goes to show like how many like individuals out there just fish who are like into fishing. I met like what, 10 people approached this today? Two from Texas. Yeah, two from Texas, which is hilarious, from Waco. A lot of people gave me some intel, which is gonna help so much throughout this week. My goal really is just to figure out these fish, try to get as creative as possible and maybe catch a giant. Anyway, it's cool. Pops and I are gonna grab a smoothie. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. What's that? Uh, sure, Mike. Yo, can I say hi to the vlog? Absolutely. You gonna subscribe? Yeah, what's yeah. up, fam? Is that a boosted board? What is that? Oh, uh, no, it's, it's just an electric skateboard. Oh, nice, dude. You guys wanna try it? Uh, yeah, sure, why not? Let me try it. Oh, can I hold your vlog camera? <laughs> no, 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 I'll hold this. Okay, so you just wanna get on, make sure the lion's facing that way. Yeah. And then you just, that's just like, it goes Right, it's like the boosted. Fish. Okay, cool. Okay, okay. Well, you know what? Guys, in Jake Paul's and Logan Paul's videos, you know. Are you a Jake Paul fan? No, bro, I'm Logan, but you know, oh you always, you always, so you know what, guys? Mick, Mick Dasher Nuggets, MCDA. Oh, yeah. what, what's going on here? No, you're good. Subscribe oh, there we to go. Carson the Killer. Oh, yeah, you're the ones with the NMDs, bro. Yeah, hey, I'm gonna steal this, okay? Thanks. Your vlog camera if you steal that. It's kind of tough to turn. How much is that? Uh, pretty expensive. How much are these? Thanks, bud. Subscribe to Carson the Killer. All right, see you guys. Peace out. You guys are too much. What the? That hurt my brain. I like, they lost me once I started plugging Jake Paul and I'm like, all right, see you guys. That was overwhelming. Wow, too much stimulation. So much for a chill day of pure fishing with pops. So smoothies. Yep, across the street over there, I think. There's ice cream here and milkshake. Smoothies. smoothies, I think, are across the street. Smoothies, that's what we're gonna go for. Nothing like a, a long day of traveling and fishing and a smoothie. Woke up in Boston this morning, landed in Cleveland, drove to Lakeside. Sorry about the music. I don't know. That's probably screwing up my audio pretty good. You know, I've got I think five or six days here, and I want to film every single day, whether it be like a big video or a small video. I want to get some sort of content knocked out for you guys because it's like, why not? This is a perfect opportunity. So I feel like I can function and and, and you know think better and film better when I'm on like a like a slight vacation like this, a slight chill trip. Chill trip. It's a good name for it. Anyway, smoothie on point. Yeah, there you go. And then let go on your follow through. Make sure to hold on to the rod too. <laughs> Woo! You did pretty good. <laughs>